here's a list of extinct animals that died out in North America in the last 500 years. Most of these animals were hunted because they were thought of as pests or dangerous monsters by the settlers that colonized North America. First up is the jaguar. While jaguars are not extinct in South America and Mexico or even the U.S. anymore, the subspecies I'm talking about is the jaguar Once Augusta. These jaguars were were <sighs> these jaguars ranged from Washington to Pennsylvania and were bigger than the jaguars of today and had longer legs and that were more suited for grasslands and mixed forests. These jaguars were alive until the 1800s where they were killed because they were thought to be a threat to livestock and the settlers. Another very interesting species is the eastern cougar. The eastern cougar is a subspecies of mountain lion that lived from Kansas to New York and into Canada. This is different from the Florida panther which is another subspecies. The eastern cougar was of similar size as the Western cougar. These these animals were hunted to extinction along with a lot of other large predators in the eastern half of the U.S. There are still reports of eastern cougars that were caught on trail camera and have been sighted by hunters. The most iconic bird in North America is the ivory-billed woodpecker. The ivory-billed woodpecker is the largest of all woodpeckers in North America, but and it was the same size as a crow. It lived in the southeastern U.S. and is often confused with the pileated woodpecker because of similar size and plumage. These birds were were shot because timber companies thought that they were destroying too many of their trees and logs and were going to eventually make them bankrupt. There have been many sightings of these birds through the years, but none have been conclusive. The sad reality is that most likely, they have gone extinct, and the sparse populations that did remain have died out. Another well-known species is the gray wolf. There used to be gray wolves all over the U.S. and Canada, and they were the top predator. In the entire continent, there are four subspecies, the Northwestern wolf, Great Plains wolf, Mexican wolf, and Arctic wolf. However, seven subspecies have gone extinct, including the Kenai Peninsula wolf, the Banks Island wolf, the Cascade Wolf, the Southern Rocky Mountain Wolf, the, Mongoli- the Mongol Wolf, the Texas Wolf, and the Newfoundland Wolf. Losing these subspecies has changed the diversity of wolves in North America. Losing wolves has changed the ecological landscape in Off North America because of, their in- because of their entire range, wolves were the top predator and helped keep ungulates and other large herbivores in check. Wolves play important roles in the landscape, and the absence of them in the east has allowed species such as coyotes to double their range and take over the ecological niche that wolves have left behind. Speaking of wolves, the red wolf, which has disappeared from North America completely and only now lives in the small population in North Carolina thanks to reintroduction efforts. Red wolves look very similar to coyotes, but on average are about 30 pounds larger. Most of the red wolves after being hunted down by European settlers were in small populations and eventually fell victim to inbreeding with coyotes with coyotes which have only been in the eastern part of the US for 50 years. Red wolves were important to the ecological landscape of the southeastern US and hunted down a variety of animals including raccoons, small mammals, and occasionally white-tailed deer. They had a very similar diet to coyotes and and uh, took over their role in the eastern U.S. They were hunted for fear that they would have threatened livestock and people. Another species in the east is the eastern elk. The eastern elk was declared extinct on September 1, 1877. The eastern elk went extinct due to overhunting by settlers for meat and hide and habitat loss. Reintroduction efforts have been successful in places such as Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Reintroduction of elk into Great Smoky Mountains National Park began in 2001, when 25 elk were brought from the Land Between the Lakes recreational area along the Tennessee-Kentucky border. In 2002, the park imported another 27 animals. This elk subspecies was the first subspecies discovered by settlers. It isn't the biggest, though. That title belongs to the Roosevelt elk. Next up is the passenger pigeon. The passenger pigeon was once thought to be the most numerous bird in the entire planet. Its population is thought to be in the billions. They were hunted to extinction in less than a century. They were hunted for meat and went extinct due to habitat loss. 
They were once as numerous in our woods as deer and squirrels, and due to deforestation, their flocks got smaller and populations declined. Laws were put into place to protect the pigeon, but were weakly enforced and did almost nothing to help the population. Sadly, the passenger, the passenger pigeon once the most numerous bird in the world, went extinct in 1914. The next bird is the dusky seaside sparrow. This sparrow is a subspecies of seaside sparrow that lived on the Marin Island in central Florida, but NASA built a rocket testing site in 1961 right on the island. Then, a few years later, Walt Disney started construction on Disneyland, only 50 miles from North Mare Island, and urbanization from around the park picked up and soon the island was built on, and all of the dusky seaside sparrow habitat was destroyed. A species that spent 500 years evolving and adapting on on the island was destroyed in under in under a century. Guys, thanks for watching.